today we are at the Palm Cemetery here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And we're gonna walk downstairs and visit the final resting place of IBF Super Featherweight Champion of the World, Diego Chico Corrales. Corrales. If you're not a boxing fan, then you are surely missing out on watching one of Chico's fights. This dude was a straight warrior. I was a big boxing fan in the late 90s, early 2000s. I'm still a fan, but it just, it wasn't what it was back then when you had Oscar De La Hoya, you had Fernando Vargas, you had uh, Tito. I mean, you had many, many boxers that were just, in their, in their own right, many of them were just beasts. They were just warriors. And you can even go back to the 80s with Marvin Hagler, Sugar Ray Leonard, and hitman Thomas Hearns. I actually seen him uh, driving down the street uh, about 15 years ago. He's quite tall. So anyway, so Chico, his career record was 40 wins and 5 losses when i first seen chico fight uh that was at my boss's house uh big shout out to al if you're still out there buddy what is going on and i seen him fight oh he fought a great fighter and uh, floyd mayweather and diego corrales well he lost that fight but i was still impressed on how he did even though you know floyd is a excellent fighter in his own you know, I mean, dare I say, some people would say he's pound for pound the best boxer on the planet ever. Actually, I say that. I know people will disagree because Floyd, a lot of people say he doesn't bring an exciting fight, which I think they're absolutely crazy. So anyways, so Chico uh, was, uh, at the time that I was watching him fight, uh, was just uh, a, a superb boxer. Uh, I also see them when he fought against uh, Jose Luis Castillo. Uh, I remember that fight because I thought he was going to get annihilated. And he was getting beat like in the seventh and eighth rounds. And I don't know how. I still don't know how <laughs> this guy came back to beat him. I mean, he hit him. He hit him with this like it was like a right cross or something like that. And, uh, and then he just trapped him against the ropes. And that was it. That was the fight. I don't know how he won that fight. But he earned my respect after that fight. And he also fought uh, Joel Casamayor uh, a couple times. Uh, the first time he lost to him, I think it was a TKO because he suffered. Uh, he got some kind of real bad cut. Uh, and then the second time, I think he won via decision. Uh, here's an interesting fact. Uh, I was in jail in Las Vegas uh, with uh, Casamayor's uh, training partner or sparring partner. Uh, I think he told me because th that guy didn't really speak any English well, but he said he knew him from Cuba and they came over together. And they used to spar and train together. And I asked him, I said, how the hell did he become a multi-millionaire boxer and you're in jail with me? And he said, I'm loco. I'm loco. So anyways, uh, you know, Chico had a, a, a bit of a, a troubling past, just a little bit. Uh, he did a little bit of time in prison uh, for domestic violence. Uh, but when he came out of prison, uh, he came out to fight. And I think that's when he fought uh, Jose Luis Castillo. And uh, I remember the night, I remember, and I'm not sure why, but I remember the night I heard on the radio that he died. I was driving a taxi and I had just dropped somebody off on the corner of Jones and Robindale. And I was listening to Sports Talk Radio and they had just announced that Diego Corrales died in a motorcycle accident. And I remember that because it, it was literally right up the street from where I was. And, you know, it was, it was surreal. And I, I always regret, I don't know why, I'm, but I always regret not driving up there just to see, you know, if, if I could see any, like any hints of the accident. But, 
apparently he was drinking a little bit and he went to go ride on his motorcycle he had a gsxr 1000 that's a that's a big bike that's a powerful bike and he ran into the back of somebody's car and he flipped over the car into oncoming traffic and then another car ran him over so yeah just you know yeah i'll never forget that moment it's just one of those moments in in my life i'll never forget where i was when i heard that he died you know because i was such a big boxing fan and i loved so many boxers that, you know he was he was one of a few but yeah it's a damn shame man it, this guy was only 30 years old the, i mean this guy could have he could have kept boxing for another five years no problem and uh, he died about a month after his last fight. He lost. Uh, I don't remember exactly who he lost to. I think it was. Uh, I think it was Josh, Josh, Claudi or Kaladi, something like that. And yeah, just uh, rest in peace. Just wanted to stop by and show this uh, nice-looking marker. Uh, he left a lot of fans um, hurt, man, for that. You know, because it was just an accident that could have been avoided. But nevertheless, rest in peace, Chico. Champ. All right, guys. I'm out of here. Just wanted to share a little bit of a uh, little bit of boxing history. Just a little bit. Hey, if you guys are boxing fans and. One night you want to see some good fights, go check out that uh, Diego Corrales versus Jose Luis Castillo. You're not, you're not going to, you're just going to wonder how, it, how in the hell <laughs> this guy came back and won. I mean, just, he, he just caught him with that, with that. I remember it was like, I, I don't know if it was a cross or, or, or what, but I, he just, you couldn't have timed it any better. Incredible, incredible. All right. I'm out of here. See you later. Peace out.